Hey guys, welcome back. First things first, I want to apologize for the, the slight lack of content this week, especially with the Monday stream being really quite short. As I've said a few times, I've not really been very well. Um, mostly wasn't very well last weekend, and, um, and I've spent a lot of this week just kind of recovering from that. But luckily now, I'm more or less completely better, and tomorrow I will be doing my Monday stream as usual um, at full power. Uh, but today I want to quickly record a video to show you guys how to very, very easily apply a screen shake to the dynamic camera system that I explained in a previous video. So you might remember this, this camera object and this camera object code that when you run it, um, it's created this like top-down camera that kind of follows where the mouse is, but also follows kind of the player around, so the player can like move around, but then like pointing the pointing the mouse in different directions, like means that it follows him. Okay, so I want to set it up so that we're really easily able to trigger a screen shake, basically using. Um, like any like anywhere in the code just be able to go right uh object camera shake now kind of thing and it'll it'll work really easily so if you remember how this works because uh the view isn't like set up to follow an object in the way that you can set it up in game maker using the views menu and everything uh we're setting the x view and y view of our uh of our view manually using this obj underscore camera right the camera object is moving around and then we're setting the the view to manually be wherever this object is in the screen um because we're doing that and then applying uh this clamp afterwards to make sure that the view stays within our room boundaries or not depending on what um what kind of game you're making all we really have to do is add a a screen shake modifier if you will on the end of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write just at the bottom of this code view x view plus equals um, random underscore range and then this is will generate a random number between two numbers that I give it and I'm just gonna give it negative shake and positive shake which we haven't defined to be anything yet. If we were to run this now, it would give us an error. It would be like variable get shake. Can't find that variable. But I'm just going to write that again for y view. Let's equal random. Let's go range. Negative shake. Shake. Like that. And then I'm going to click OK to save that and create a create event for this camera. And just initialize shake so that we wouldn't get those variable errors. So I'm going to say shake equals zero. Um, so at the moment now, like it's set up so it will add um, the shake variable to the camera and it will shake depending on whatever that value is. Um, and then to make that value decay over time so that we can just set it to a value, the screen will just shake and then like stop shaking. What I'm going to do is write shake times equals uh, 0.9. And you might want to set that to be a variable that you modify or whatever to affect the rate at which it decays. Um, but I'm just going to say times by 0 0.9 so it just like a sort of slows down to a halt, right? And then all we need to do is set up some way of triggering the screen shake at all, right? Um, I'm just going to create a simple test thing in here, like uh, we'll do key press uh, letters uh, H, so whenever you press the H key, um, we'll shake a bit, and I'll just set shake equals 15 whenever we press the H key, okay? So shake will get set to 15 meaning that every single frame we're going to add we do all the camera stuff normally and then after we do that camera stuff on the frame we add the shake on top of it which will offset the view by a random value between negative 15 and positive 15 and then that number 15 will get times by 0 0.9 every frame and will shrink 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 down until it's a negligible value that's not actually affecting anything anymore right so if i press 5 now in the game, you see nothing nothing new or different is happening with the camera at the moment, but if I press H, the screen shakes. Now if I go into like the top corner of the room like this, so I'm up here, and press H, you see the screen shake still works, right? It still works even at the, the boundary edge of the screen, okay? Um, that's just because of how this system works. It doesn't care about like uh, the camera going outside the limits of the room. 
so it will work either way. If you want to, for some reason, keep like the shake inside the room so that it never leaves the room boundary, all you would have to do is apply this before doing this in the dynamic camera, right? Because then we'd apply the shake, but then after applying the shake, um, make sure that the view is still contained in the room. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And there you have it, really, really easy way to add really simple, powerful screen shake effect into your game in a really dynamic way that's very clean and doesn't really, um, it's very unlikely to interfere with like anything else you've got going on with your game. It's a pretty cool system, it's a, a way I really like doing it. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. Um, I hope you'll be stopping by my stream tomorrow if you've been following along with that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Anyway guys, see ya.